here. Oh, come on. Got a, got a motel he can come and pick up. There we go. What do you want? Uh, the window's right there. The... Just a black coffee. So I'm at uh, Cool Lake. K E K U E L H Cool Lake. Um, I'm here to look for the zircons, which are supposedly along the shoreline. I believe it's the eastern shoreline of the lake and we just spoke to the landowners who live in the most beautiful property and uh, they directed us to come along here in other words we're following about a kilometer of track as we cross the bridge which you can probably see behind me or that I'm standing on right now we then head along the shoreline so we're actually taking the northern route around the top of the lake um, and uh, zircons here supposedly are known to have been found in the highest color in sizes of up to two inches in gem quality Apparently they're scarce pickings now, but I mean obviously we, we dig within the rubble and I'm sure we have a good chance of finding something at least. So this is Cool Lake, well-known, famous mineral deposit from uh, some time in the past. This whole area is just uh, really a cyanite. Uh, which is what you're finding the zircon in, I believe. And the cyanide is really a, like a granite, but without the, uh, the silica, in other words, quartz. Uh, it's just uh, feldspar and mica. So that's, that's the difference between a cyanite and a granite. Nothing really significant with the zircon so far, but we are definitely finding, you know, digging in the scree pile here, uh, lots of nice feldspar uh, crystals and so on. Really nice calcite with natural crystal faces. I'm um, seeing a bunch of, uh, right up here, appetite, really glassy appetite. So as I say, as you get deeper down into this, into this spoil pile or scree pile from the actual mine, you really start to find a whole bunch of stuff that hasn't been picked over by rock hounds yet. So I guess I'm giving you the hint. So you'll see this little crystal right near my thumb. That's jumped out at me, and uh, so I hammer the rock open, and in closer inspection I see in cross-section, what I'm looking at right there on the corner, is six-sided hexagonal. So it's of the hexagonal crystal system. That, that's uh, basically what this is leaving in my mind, is that it's appetite, six-sided. Uh, zircon has four sides. It belongs to, I believe, the tetragonal crystal system, and it's topped at either end, if we're lucky, by a pyramid, by pyramidal. So that's what we're looking at. This is obviously not a zircon. In close inspection, you can see that it's six-sided. Even in some sites, just just the feldspar and and calcite crystals that you're actually finding would be enough to draw rock hounds to the site. Uh, and this site, as I say, zircon is said to be the mineral to find. Uh, again, still looking. I mean, zircons are not common. Although up in the Canadian Shield in certain areas, it, it is it is uh, something to find them, in particular in a lot of the pegmatite dikes and so forth. But um, I know in Sri Lanka, I guess the zircon, the gem quality zircons, have already been washed by the rivers, and you find them in the gravels along with things like tourmaline and um, topaz and all that kind of stuff. So I mean, the zircon itself is a gem. Being a gemologist. Uh, you know, that's really my main interest is to find gem quality material. And as they say, there has been, uh, you know, some sizable hyacinth colored zircon crystals found in this particular area. Uh, that is Cool Lake. And uh, that's what I'm looking for, right? I mean, I'm, I like to see a specimen and I'll show you a specimen when I find it. Uh, if I find it at this point. But if not, I mean, as I say, there's been lots of other, you know, worthwhile crystals that I've, I've, you know, dug out during the day. You see my hole here? I mean, the deeper you go, the better it gets. It's not been picked over, and uh, I'm finding it's worthwhile digging, and I'm enjoying myself either way, and I mean, that's what it's all about. If you're, if you're rock hounding, it's, you know, it's about the experience, and while I'm on that topic, um, stay tuned for my book coming out in the near future, uh, Rock Hounding and Experience of the North. And I'll touch places like Cobalt and um, Bear Lake and the Smart Mine and all the old uranium mines. Uh, the book will cover the lot. I'm expecting it'll come out in a three-part series, which uh, book would be, you know, maybe seven or eight different chapters uh, covering some of the more interesting 
mineral experiences. Check this out. Jeff just went for a ramble. He just found this huge sort of, you know, somewhat worn crystal. Really heavy. Uh, I think it's appetite, but it's it's super heavy. I don't know. Like, I, I mean, what else do we find in the in the cyanite of the area? I mean, corundum is quite well known from the Burgess mine. I'll look at it closer here in a minute here, but this is very heavy. Yeah, down around the foot and a half, two foot level underneath the scree pile, this is what you find. It's pretty well every other rock is like this. So, I mean, just crystals like no one's business. Okay, it's true. We found some zircon. It's, uh, uh, let's see the zircon here, Jeff. Jeff has found some zircon. Long, looks like a long crystal. Uh, it's definitely reddish. You can see the close-up that I've got. Um, and he's also just found a huge appetite in that spot, so we're headed over there to have a look in a sec. Lovely green appetite. Jeff just found her in the rock. He's going to try and extract it. This is coming out by hand wiggling, I can feel it. It's loose enough by hand, means we're going to get it out whole. Look at that! Just came out, just by hand. Green, non-fractured. Jeff, I'm jealous. Gonna wash that up. It's gonna be beautiful. Yeah. So this is the uh, this is the idea. I guess this seems to be where we had our best luck to find the zircon and the large appetite. Just turning over boulders that weren't turned over before. Jeff just turned over that one boulder, and there the appetite was. Just sitting there, and there's having a problem finding where actually. I think it's probably all mine just down there, a little further down the lakeshore southwards, but. Um, Nevertheless, beautiful area, and uh, still lots of potential, no doubt. So, I'd come back to Cool Lake for sure. Lots of good opportunities here for rock and minerals. We're out of here, a long drive back to Guelph, and Hamilton in your case. What do you got in your hand there, Jeff? A piece of appetite. Why are you carrying it? Because it's a nice piece of appetite. He's carrying it because he doesn't want to break it inside his backpack.